Kia ora, folks, it's Sunday. Let's talk about capacitors. So capacitors are a general purpose electronic component, and basically they're used for short-term storage of electrical energy. So in that sense, they kind of work like batteries. So batteries also store electrical energy, but a battery like this will store 1.5 volts and maintain it for a long period of time, depending on what you're using it in. You know, it could be days or months or, or longer. Whereas a capacitor is integrated into a circuit and designed just for short-term storage. So a capacitor will charge quickly, but also discharge quickly. And we'll look at some of that in a bit. Here we have some photos of some capacitors. And so you can see what they look like. Generally, they're cylinders. And they have two prongs for connection into a circuit, so that shouldn't be too surprising. A battery has a positive and negative side. And we have some symbols here. We have a fixed capacitor. We have a polarized capacitor, which means that one side is designed to be positive and then the other side would be negative. Whereas for the fixed case here, it doesn't matter what side is positive and what side is negative. Uh, and then a variable Capacitor looks just like a variable resistor, so we'll put an arrow there to say that the capacitance can be changed. Probably the most common place that you will find capacitors is on a circuit board. So here I have a motherboard on my PC, and we can read some info off of this. So right here this says 6.3V for volts, and then it says 3300 mu f and that means micro farad which is the unit of capacitance let's have another look at a motherboard here we have an average standard everyday digital camera and if you pop the cover on the camera you'll notice something that looks kind of like a battery inside and so this big cylinder here is specifically for the flash. Okay, so the batteries go over in this depression, and then we've got a built-in flash capacitor. So the batteries will charge the capacitor, and then if you need the flash, obviously a lot of energy in that burst of light will be discharged all at once. And then if you've taken a lot of flash photography, you may notice it takes uh, some time for that flash to recharge and become available for the next photo. You can't just keep snapping flashes um, continually. Uh, you, you can snap pictures continually, but not necessarily with the flash because there is some delay for this capacitor to build up the energy. An AED is sort of a modern, literally life-saving use of capacitors. So this stands for Automated External Defibrillator. And a defibrillator is an agent or device for arresting fibrillation of the atrial or ventricle, ventricular muscles of the heart. So doctor or no doctor, you may have seen these in public spaces and a capacitor in there is going to store up a large amount of electrical energy that is then going to be discharged through the patient into their heart in an attempt to restart their regular rhythm in the heart. Here we have some giant capacitors. So the capacitors earlier that we saw in circuit boards, they were quite small, even smaller than a battery and that is kind of standard size and the unit is also very small in terms of a micro farad so a micro farad is an exponent times 10 to the minus 6 so maybe if we had 45 micro farads that's 0 0.1 2 3 four, five, five, six. So that would be how many full farads a small capacitor has. So these ones here are kind of special purpose. This one on the left is 1.5 farads and the one on the right is, you can kind of see it, 
down here, it's an incredible five farads. And these are huge, and these are purpose-built just for use in audio applications. So an amplifier, which will provide power to your stereo equipment, um, can be very power-hungry, as they say. And if the voltage is fluctuating, what you want is a capacitor that can handle that fluctuation and provide a nice steady service to your audio equipment. So we have commonly found, so you can commonly find capacitors in things like camera flashes and defibrillators and audio and radio equipment. Uh, radio tuning, so capacitors are used to help tune frequencies in radios. Pulsed weapons like railguns, what the heck is a railgun? We'll look at that a bit later. More general cases though is circuit boards and power supplies, so if you bust open a power brick you might find a capacitor. Uh, AC to DC converters can use capacitors to help uh, even at the voltage. Uh, and in large buildings that run their own power supplies, you may have power factor correction taking place with a big bay of capacitors to, again, help evenly distribute voltage in this scenario.